Hey there, CurtisX here, back with another What Is video. In this one, what is Wastelands 3? That is what we're gonna find out, so stick around. If this video ends up being helpful, do give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe for more. And I also do stream over on Twitch. Links in the video description down below if you wanna drop by. Let's see, what is Wasteland 3? A classic RPG with an isometric camera view, turn-based combat and a lot of talking. There is also a lot of walking around and have and have I mentioned a lot of talking. You start off by picking your two starting characters from a set of pre-made characters where you can create custom ones. And customize them to your liking from their appearance to their attribute points and skills as well as the starting weapons. The attributes, they all serve a different purpose. Each gives you a passive. There are a total of seven. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence and charisma. Not going to go into what each of them does. That would make this video a bit too long. Skills are divided into four groups. There's combat, general, exploration and social skills. Combat is pretty self-explanatory, oh, it's what weapons that character is going to be using, so snipers, big guns, automatic weapons, to name a few. Next up we got general, in here we have things like first aid to help with healing, animal whisper because who wouldn't want to talk to animals? There's explosives, sneaky and weird science. In the explorations we got stuff that might open up different paths, things like lockpicking, mechanic, nerd staff for hacking, toaster repair, because repairing toasters is important, have armor and weapon modding as well, and last but not least, and my favorite set of skills in every RPG, the social skills. We have things like barter for trading, hard ass for well being a hard ass, kiss ass and leadership. Why are these my favorites? Because they always open up new dialogue options and being able to talk myself out of trouble has always been one of my favorite things to do in RPGs. There's also perks that you unlock once enough points have gone into a specific skill. You get these perk points every few levels. For example, with barter, you can get a discount when buying in bulk, or with automatic weapons, a new attack, for example. There are quite a few routes you can take with your characters. A total of six can be in your party, so four rangers and two companion NPCs that you can recruit into the party. The ranger characters are a bit disappointing because they don't have a personality, so they don't talk or interact with other characters, while the companions do know other NPCs and sometimes do have something to say about what you are doing. Ranger characters are the characters that you create or you actually select at the start of the game. But let's talk combat. It is a turn based so fights do take a while and positioning is very important because the game uses a cover mechanic a little bit like an XCOM and each action costs action points. Some pieces of cover can actually be destroyed as well. And just like an XCOM there's a percentage system on hit and misses. You will miss point blank shots that is just a fact of life on here. Don't ask how, just accept it. But I can't say this enough. You will be in dialogue more than actual fights. It is a slow game where choices have consequences that you will have to deal with. So far I have not had any issues with performance or crashing, but the game did feel like it was going to crash once or twice. Frame rates have been stable. It looks good. Not the best looking game though. If you start zooming in too much, some textures and animal fur do don't look that good. In the options, they do give you quite a few customization options here if you need to adjust it to get it to run smoothly. Well, in the sound department, this one is fully voiced, which is great. It makes it even more immersive. Some of the more important characters get a different camera angle when you are interacting with them. For example, the patriarch, when you first meet him, you, you get a zoom in on his upper body and animations while the talking to him. Voice work you. is good. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Be my guest. Well done. Not just the main characters, even the random dudes you meet are all well done. Music wise it is standard, some encounters getting a song that stands out. I am playing my own music when nothing is happening though. This being an RPG story is a big part of it, so it starts off by you getting sent to Colorado to get some supplies, then you get ambushed, everything goes sideways, that is where you start. How you end up completing your mission though, that's up to you. This is a game with many decisions to be made, each one with consequences. The way I played through it won't be the same as you, we might get completely different endings. The story having multiple possible endings gives you a reason to play through it more than once. There are also other difficulty options like Supreme Jerk if you want to try the Unforgiving experience. The multiple builds you can try with the characters also makes replaying it a different experience. So why not try, for example, a full-on melee party or a rocket-only party, you know, there's a lot of options here. 
Overall, it is a solid RPG by In Exile. It might not be for everyone because of the turn-based combat or the amount of dialogue. It is a slow-paced game. And I do like it when they do give the players a choice on how they want to play the game and how they want the story to unfold. The most annoying thing about the game is probably the number of loading screens in it. If you like classic RPGs, do give this one a try. And if you're on the fence about trying this one, it's on the Xbox Game Pass. So you can try it without paying full price. And the Game Pass also gets you other games for that month. So overall, it's a good deal if you want to try it. That's going to be it for this What Is video. I do hope it was helpful. If it was, do give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe for more. You can also drop by the Twitch channel where I play most of these. Links in the description down below. So the rest of the video is going to be a full fight. It's, it's not from the start of the game. It's a little bit into the game. So just to give you guys an idea how an actual fight goes down. So yeah, stick around if you want to see it. And as always, people, thanks for watching. Stay safe and drink your water. Okay, that's two targets. We managed to get down. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? We can't hide near the door. This guy is melee. This guy isn't. Fire. The pig doesn't die though. Guy's dead. Let's play around with the range. Okay, if I go back here, I can only shoot that guy. And move up. Yeah, I prefer to kill the pig. Okay, never mind, I didn't kill the pig. Jesus. That was pointless. Ambush. Let's see, you get your ass back here as well. Get ready for ambushing. You, dude. This one is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I go here and I use this, yeah. That was the right plan. gonna shoot fury no he's he demoralized him the fuck was that oh god god damn it there's more pigs concealed concealed <laughs> jesus they're all just going into Well, at least the pigs aren't just doing damage to me. Can't be all bad. Nice. Okay, Quan, you had some Molotovs.
They might be concealed, but the Molotov is a Molotov. So, puncture. Yeah, this is nice. Ice. What is ice? What? No, ice. Come on. 80. The great. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. Yeah, fuck it. Again. And yeah, I'm not doing anything with this. But if I move here, I can still shoot once. Out of range 50, 50, 50. I mean, f believe, I guess. Five percent. What about this? Thirty-nine. Sucker punch. It basically does the, the almost the same amount of damage. You missed, man. Dude. Another crit. I'm liking it. Okay, switch over to the MG again. Uh, you're chilling. Now it's the enemy turn. Get stabbed a little bit by the robot. Friendly turn. Come on, kitty. Get that robot. Get it. Nice. So. Oh. Now the. F oh, that was the fox. Never mind. Oh, there's still a guy on this side. Gee, I forgot. Completely forgot about this guy. Oh, now you're helping. Thanks, I guess. He's the provost. Yes, yes. Okay, I, I can shoot him with four. Two. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. On fire, god damn it. Oh, fire. Please don't shoot the oil tank. I don't think they're smart enough to shoot the oil tank. 90, come on, finish it. There we go. 